guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today gagawa ako ng review ng foundation. First impression review. This is from LA Girl. Ito yung bago nilang foundation na nilabas. Ito yung Pro Coverage HD. Um, I got, I bought two shades. Kasi hindi ko alam kung ano yung shades ko dito. Uh, I have Fair and Nude Beige. So, later malalang natin kung ano yung shade na magagamit ko. So, let's start with the packaging. The packaging looks like this. Alam nyo, if you are familiar with the ano ba yun, Makeup Forever na HD foundation, it really looks like this. Uh, yung packaging niya, as in, ganito ta. Packaging is like this. So, ayan, nandito yung main. Tapos sa likod, yung shade niya. So, na-open siya and you have a pump. So, it's a plus for me kasi ang hirap pagka walang pump, hindi mo nakakontrol kung gano'ng kadami product yung gusto mong ilagay. So, this one is already good. Let's see what it claims. Ang sabi dito, So, the description. Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Liquid Foundation is ideal for a flawless looking. Full coverage finish. Oh, full coverage we will see. Lightweight formula is comfortable for all day wear. Paraben free formula with added antioxidants helps hydrate and improve the skin's appearance. Now available to extend the color range even farther. An innovative white foundation mixer to adjust the customized color. So, itong shade na to, uh, meron siyang 10 shades. And meron din siyang white na to. Ito yung white na foundation nila, yun yung pang customize nila if the foundation is darker or uh, ma uh, dark sa inyo, pwede nyo i-mix yung white foundation na yun to lighten up the color. So, Yung range ng shade nila is 10, including the white shade. Like I said, uh, yung range ng color nila is madami. I just don't know what is my shade. We will see later. So, let's see the consistency of the product. So, it looks like oh, watery siya. So, Yun yung consistency niya. I think this one is too dark for me. It's a nude beige. Yung smell niya, usual foundation. No, medyo matapang siya, pero controllable naman. Uh, I will be using the uh, two kinds of uh, tools. A sponge, damp sponge, and a brush. Buffing brush. So, I think this one is too dark for me. It's the new beige. Let's try the white one. Yes, I will be using a beauty sponge. And the other side of my face is a brush. So, I don't have any primer on. And my skin type is oily skin. Combination to oily skin. I oil up ako dito sa area na to a lot. So, ano bang tatakpan ko? Ang sabi kasi full coverage siya. So, We'll see if matatakpan tong mga redness dito, yung acne marks ko. Yan, yung mga gloss na nandyan. Yung mga small marks. So, yun. Let's start. So, this is only one pump. Wow, I think it's too white for me. Too white for my skin. That's okay. Um, as you can see, itong foundation na to, um, hindi siya matte finish. Ang sabi nga dun, parang illuminating foundation siya. So, expected ko na na hindi siya matte finish. Parang glowy type yung finish niya. Dewy, I mean. So, hindi siya ganun kabilis mag set. So, you have a time to blend. Sa pag apply ko pala ng foundation na to, I'd say hindi siya full coverage. But we will see if buildable siya. Kasi, as you can see, nandiyan pa rin yung acne marks ko. See? But the finish is really good. Dewy siya, and I love it. 
I have oily skin but I don't like matte finish. Yung sobrang matte. Pero, nadadaan naman sa highlighter yan. So, ang bilis niya i-blend. Hindi ka mahihirap ang i-blend siya. So far, gusto ko siya. Natakpan niya yung redness ko dito. So, medium to coverage nga siya for me. And, ang tagal niya talaga mag-set. So, you see the, uh, the difference? Natakpan niya yung redness ko dito. Um, yung mga red na maliliit dito, but my acne marks is still there. Yung mga small bumps. Lahat ng imperfection ko natakpan niya. And, yung effect niya, sobrang, alam niyo, parang healthy. Alam niyo, parang healthy skin. So, sa beauty sponge, um, okay siya. Medium to coverage, we will see sa brush mamaya. And, yung pores ko, hindi niya masyadong natakpan. So, let's apply with the brush. And yung one pump, kasha na siya sa half, half face lang. So, we'll see in the brush kung ano yung gift. So, sa brush, um, the dif yung difference na nakikita ko, yung coverage lang. Pero yung pag-apply, it's almost the same. Yung finish, yung doing niya, nandyan pa rin. Yung face ko, titingnan ko kung magtotone down pa yung kulay niya sa akin since acidic naman ako. But for now, it's too white and hindi pa siya nagsiset for me. So, I will be using the air span as Tapos ko na yung makeup ko off cam na lang. Uh, you know guys, sobrang ganda ng finish nito. So far, sobrang gusto ko siya. Alam niyo parang healthy lang siya and uh, Sobrang lightweight niya. Wala akong nafe-feel na may nilagay ako sa mukha kong foundation. Uh, so far, so good siya. Um, mag Insert din ako ng picture ko na with flash at saka may flash para alam natin kung may white cast ba siya. Gumamit lang ako ng bronzer, saka lip tint, saka cutting blush on, at saka highlighter. Konti. So, what time na? It's 11.17. Mag-a-update ako later guys kasi pupunta ako aalis ako. So, matitest talaga natin to since summer na siya since mainit na, malalaman natin if okay ba tong foundation na to for oily skin. I'll be back later guys. Hey guys! So, I'm back for an update. It's already 3.59, uh, 4 p.m. It's been 4 hours already. So, as you can see dito sa nose area ko, sobrang oily ko na talaga. Ewan ko kung kita pagka uh, natural light. Ayan siya. Gumagamit lang ako ng ring light, pero kita nyo, as you can see, sobrang nag-oil up ako sa T-zone area ko. Tapos, na-emphasize yung dry. Pero, yung foundation naman, it looks good pa rin naman. Kaya lang, siguro, kailangan ko lang mag-blot at maglagay tayo ng light kasi madilim. So, ang gagamitin kong pang-blotter is yung clean and clear. Ibablot ko lang yung nose ko. Lahat. Sobrang init sa labas din. Kaya, hindi ko alam. At nagta-transfer yung foundation. Nagta-transfer siya. Mm -hmm. Ang dami niyang transfer, oh. So, ito yung nakuha ko sa nose ko. Hindi pa naman siya ganun ka-oily, pero... Siguro kasi nagpawis din ako at saka kaya nagbura-bura yung sa nose area ko kasi ganun ako ng ganun. Ang init talaga sa labas. 
Kaya nga lang, the problem is namuko siya, oh. Kaya namuko siya. So, tingnan natin, i-glap natin yung buong face. Dito sa area na to, okay pa siya. Andiyan pa rin yung blush on ko. Yung bronzer ko. So far, so good naman siya. Siguro lang, hindi lang siya talaga okay for oily skin. Pero, I guess, kung kung gagamit kayo ng matifying na ano, primer, I think it will work. Ayan yung nakuha kong oil. Naging okay naman siya nung binlat ko. Uh, ito lang yung oil na nakuha ko. Uh, I guess hindi na ako magsiset uli kasi okay pa naman yung foundation. Nandyan pa siya. Um, okay din yung dito. Nandyan pa yung bronzer ko, yung blush on ko. Um, ano pa ba? Yun nga lang medyo nakikita na yung pimple mark ko dito. Ayan, pero it's not a problem. Okay pa rin yung foundation, so hindi na ako magsiset. Ulit-ulit ako, so babalik ako for the last update. Uh, 5.56, it's almost 6pm. So, 6 hours ago na since nakasuot sa akin yung foundation. Uh, so far, so good naman yung foundation. Um, andyan pa rin siya, nakikita nyo pa rin yung uh, bronzer ko, yung foundation ko. And it still look good, di ba? Um, Pero dito sa area na to, medyo nag-oil up siya. Pero hindi siya masyadong noticeable. Alam niyo yung parang dewy effect lang siya. Since nung binlat ko siya, eto siya. Hindi ako nag-apply ng kahit ano. Powder, pinabayaan ko lang siya. And the more na tumatagal siya sa face ko, parang the more na nagugustuhan ko siya. Kasi parang nag-melt in talaga yung foundation sa face ko. Lat ko na lang din yung nose ko para makita din natin kung ganun pa rin ba siya na nag-oil. So, eto lang yung i-blot ko. You see? Hindi siya masyadong nag-oil. I think kanina kasi talaga sobrang init. Sobrang init talaga sa labas. As in, at saka pinagpawisan ako. Kaya siguro nag-melt din yung foundation. <laughs> kaya nag-melt din siguro yung foundation. I'll be back later again, guys, sa pinakalas na update ko na talaga. So, Hey guys, so I'm here with my final update. It's already 9, 9.12. It's been 9 hours since I wear this foundation. So, ang pinaka-final thought ko dito sa foundation na to, in the packaging, I really really like the packaging. It's super sleek lang. Plastic lang siya. So, uh, hindi kayo mag-iisip na mag-worry if mababasag siya if nabagsak nyo. Plus, it's with a pump. So, okay din siya kasi nakokontrol mo kung gano'ng kadami yung foundation na gusto mong ilagay. And on the side, you have the shade. And meron din siyang expiration date. Yung maliit dito, it's only for 6 months. Pwede mo lang siyang gamitin for 6 months. So, um, So, sa kiniklaim niya na medium to full coverage, agree ako doon. Kasi, uh, buildable naman yung, yung foundation na to. Uh, yun nga lang, I think it depends ko anong gamit yung makeup tools. Pag nagagamit kayo ng beauty sponge, I think yung coverage niya is very sheer lang. Pero pagka brush yung ginamit nyo, um, mas full coverage siya. So, yeah, it's true. And smooth, long-wearing, flawless looking finish. Ah, uh, yes, it's true. It's super, uh, ano siya, smooth siya sa face. Uh, about long wearing, I'm not really sure. Kasi siguro for the dry skin, I think this is a perfect foundation for you. Kasi yung finish nitong foundation na to is dewy finish. So, so para sa mga oily skin, yun talaga yung parang iniiwasan nila. Not naman na iniiwasan, but of course, if you have oily skin, you need to find a um, matte foundation for, you, for your skin type, right? So, this one is uh, illuminating, a uh, dewy finish siya. So, it's very, it will work sa mga dry skin na girls. And this will be very, very good uh, foundation for you if you have a dry skin. But for me naman, I have oily skin, but I still love this. I will still wear this foundation. Yun nga lang, the problem is, if willing kayong mag every 2 to 3 hours. Kasi, me, for me, every 3 hours, nag-oil up na talaga yung T-zone area ko as in nag-oil up siya. But long wearing, yeah, it's almost 9. 
long wearing for me it's already okay because it's already nine hours and the foundation is still there and yung bronzer ko nanjan pa yung blush on ko um my kilay of course uh, no i'm saying is nanjan pa rin yung bronzer ko yung blush on ko ang nag oil up lang talaga dito sa nose area ko uh, medyo namumuo na siya dito sa banda nakikita niyo na rin yung redness ng pimples ko uh, since actually before ba, before the 9 hour uh, nakikita niyo na rin yung redness ng pimples ko yung acne marks ko yung mga pimples ko diyan sa noo nakikita na rin yung mga small na maliliit na bumps um uh, final verdict ko dito sa foundation na to i was i will still wear this foundation naman um ako willing akong mag powder mag touch up ng mga pow ng powder kung kailangan kasi this one is very good. It's very lightweight. Yung sinasabi sa website na lightweight, it's very true. Parang wala kang nafe-feel na may foundation ka na suot. Pilipinas, if you will wear this one and if you have oily skin, uh, magdadalawang isip kayo. Uh, sa price range niya, yung price range niya is nag-rate siya ng 500 to 600 through online. I don't know if meron na sa outlet ng LA Girl. I will check and I will put in the description box uh, kung meron. And the undertone is yellow. So, to all Filipina girls, alam niya naman na we have yellow undertone. Most of us. So, yun. Um, sa range naman ng shade nila, yung nude beige, uh, akala ko in the website medyo light siya. Pero when I tried sa face ko, medyo dark siya. So, the shade that I'm wearing is fair. Yun yung shade na ginamit ko. So, yun lang guys. I hope na nakatulong ako sa inyo sa pag-decide na pagbili nitong foundation na to. Uh, for dry skin, this is very good for you. Uh, for oily skin naman, okay din siya if you're willing to touch up nga ng powder or magbaon lang kayo ng blotter and uh, powder, then it's already good. Wala na kayo po problema kasi yung finish na it's amazing. Parang airbrush finish and until now, andyan pa rin siya yung blush on mo, yung bronzer mo. So, before ako mag babay sa inyo guys, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Gagawa ko ng maraming maraming reviews. Pinagpaplanuhan ko na yung mga reviews na gagawin ko. So if you are interested to know kung ano yung mga product na i-reviews ko, click the subscribe button. And you can give me a thumbs up too if you want. And thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Oh! Oh!